I'm here in Medjugorje. I'm with what's your name? Barry. Where are you from? I'm from the west of Ireland. And first time in Medjugorje now? Yes, it is, yeah. How many days have you been here now? I arrived here last Tuesday. Last so Tuesday. I'm, I'm Nearly a week, no? I'm, I'm going back tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. You go back tomorrow morning? Eight o'clock, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. That's a divine coincidence that we meet again, no? Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. And how is the experience now for you to be here? Um, I'm just thrilled. It's amazing. It's been so relaxing. Yeah. Like you know, I, I came as a as a group, the uh, a pilgrimage package, mm -hmm. and people, the 15 or 16 people I'm with, I'm with, they're absolutely lovely, lovely people. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like I just, I, I can't get over how relaxing it's been here. Mm -hmm. And like I was explaining to you beforehand, maybe four or five months ago, this place here, in Medjugorje, I actually had quite negative opinion about it because I thought it wasn't Real. I was I was doubtful about the veracity of that of the visionaries and whatnot but mm -hmm. actually thank, thanks to your videos I, I came across your videos and that's mm -hmm. why I started watching your testimonies in English and I said mm -hmm. why not give it a go and see, mm -hmm. see and, here you are. and here I am yeah uh -huh. and what did you like most in that week now um, what do I like, like most Quite a, a few of the people on the trip with me, they've been here to the Medjugorje multiple times. Mm -hmm. And they all said the same thing whereby, listen Barry, give it a day or two, after day two or three or four, mm -hmm. you really, really kind of get into it. Mm -hmm. Now, back home I was going to Mass and I was saying the Rosary most days, so mm -hmm. I wasn't a total pagan when I, when I came here. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, like, after one day three, I was like, wake up, I'll, look, I'll, I'll go up by Persian Hill, I'll go up across the mountain. Mm -hmm. So like it's you went up cross mountain. I went up a few times. I went up cross mountain. You mountain. Cross uh, mountain. I've been up a few times. Cross right? mountain twice. Yeah. Wow. And up up Apparition Hill. Up Apparition Hill, yeah. Maybe four or five times. Wow. And how is the experience? How was that for you going starting with with Apparition Hill? How was it for you going up there? You went several times. What yeah. the effect had it on you to go up there? Um. First of all, I was kind of apprehensive. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not great at kind of climbing hills mm -hmm. with only asthma and whatnot, but no bother, no bother at all. No, no problem. Eh? Like every time I approach the hill or cross mountains, I say a little prayer saying, mm -hmm. "Give me strength to get mm -hmm. up the hill." And, and it worked. Work, no bother, no sweat. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And I, um, I, I, again, like I was usually, I was always in good company and mm -hmm. listening to their stories and I tell them, tell them my story, and it's just. The kind of camaraderie and of course the peace like you know everyone says all about the the peaceful atmosphere and, and all those things yeah. you prayed the rosary before did you know praying it here in magic going now did a change happen or did it deepen or something mm. happen, or? i'd say not that i'm aware of mm -hmm. but again like you know when i get back to ireland Hopefully, prob probably to be an extra kind of deep thing of my faith and kind of more love of the sacraments and whatnot. And like I met Father Leon, confessed to Father Leon. He's the English-speaking chaplain here, as you know, of course. And he's, he's, I think he's a very, very holy man. Mm -hmm. and, and it's helped you to, to go to Yeah, him. yeah. And like I, 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 I do feel like like you should go to once a year do like a week long retreat anyhow. Mm -hmm. So this is my first time doing this. Mm -hmm. and it, it does kind of, how would I say, uh, recharge your batteries. Yeah. So now when I return to Ireland tomorrow, I'll kind of, definitely a more kind of renewed uh, zeal for my faith, for Christ, I think. Yeah. And, um, so, yeah. so instead of maybe, I, uh, I tend to kind of, dial it in whereby I say my five decade rosary every day mm -hmm, yeah. and then I go to Mass on Sunday mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't particularly do any kind of scripture reading mm -hmm. but, but, but maybe now like like I hope to do the full five three stones. mysteries. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. five stones, yeah exactly. So yeah. Three mysteries a day and you say also like uh, fasting, Bible yeah. reading, mm -hmm. confession yeah. and Holy Mass. No? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, maybe there are people now they're inspired by you and they want to go to confession. Maybe they didn't go for 20 years to confession. 
what would you tell them somebody who's scared to go to a priest after 20 years or what will the priest think of me what would you tell them well i mean like at, at the end of the day like whatever you say to a priest it's as one priest said to me it's it's, it's nothing they ever heard within the first month of being a priest mm -hmm. they, they hear everything mm -hmm. and like you're, you're speaking to a priest as they say in persona christi mm -hmm. and I had this conversation last night in my group, there was a woman there and she was kind of saying, oh, really, you should just confess to God. And I'm like, of course, that's Protestantism. And I was saying, no, because number one, you need to confess to a priest. Number two, they actually give you advice. Yeah. That's important as well. Yeah. They give you life guidance. Mm -hmm. Like, the danger is if you just say, oh, I pray in my heart to my God, he knows how sorry I am. More than likely, you're just going to continue on your sins. That's what I think anyhow, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But when I came here, yeah. it wasn't that I was away from the church, I wasn't. I was going to Mass every Sunday and I was going to confessions regularly. But there was something in my mind that I hadn't confessed, or maybe I did. What I mean is, when I came back to the church, maybe five, six years ago, mm -hmm. I, I did a general confession, mm -hmm. whereby you confess all your sins. Mm -hmm. But there was some, this one particular incident came back into my head, I said, listen, I'll confess this now. And it's just a weight off my shoulders. Mm -hmm. And again, the, the priest explained that, like some people think, oh, journey, I say, I say, I generally confess my sins, and that's it. No, you have to, as best you can, mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. through all the mm -hmm. different uh, instances and types of sins and whatnot. And, mm -hmm. but, but again, like it's for someone that's a bit reticent about go to confession, no. You're not going to shock any priest, mm -hmm. no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. And you said you came five years ago back to the church. Uh, Why did you come back? Can you five, 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 or six, five or six years, five or six years yeah. ago. When I was in my late teens, early twenties, I was, I was fairly devout. And then one particular year, about twenty years ago maybe, I had a horrible year. It was just dreadful. And I fell away from the church. Mm -hmm. uh, my issue was, why? why why does this happen to me? And I go to Mass and I pray the Rosary. So mm -hmm. if I don't do this, it's no difference. My life is still the same. So, mm -hmm. so I went into a spiral of drinking heavily and mm -hmm. not caring. Mm -hmm. So then maybe five, six years ago, seven years ago, I, when, I used to, when I was in college in Dublin, I used to attend the Latin Mass, the, the Tridentine Mass. Mm -hmm. um, so I was at work one evening and I just Googled Latin Mass in Galway, which is the city I live in, mm -hmm. and there, there was one actually, so I said, okay, I'll just pop down here, mm -hmm. see how it goes, mm -hmm. and I sat at the back of the church, and I wasn't taking part in the Mass, because I wasn't a Catholic at this stage, I didn't care, I just wanted to, to watch, listen to the Latin and watch the rubrics, mm -hmm. uh, and I was there one day, then a month later I went back again, and two weeks after that I was back again in the church, and I, and I guess, even though I I wasn't being, how would I say, uh, engaged in the Mass. But, but obviously, I got so many graces. Then I came across other YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. And then it all kind of came back to me from when I used to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started back being a Catholic again. So you had a point in your life you were already Catholic and mm. you were going to Mass and yeah. something happened yeah. in 12th of your yeah, Like a lot of us, no? Yeah, yeah but, but even then, yeah. uh, uh, how can I explain it? In my earlier period, as a late teens, early twenties, I was a, a Catholic. I, I didn't really understand my faith. I, I was very kind of a superficial Catholic. Okay, I'd, I'd say the Rosary and I'd go to Mass, but I was, I was still engaging in sins because at that time, I, like a lot of kind of modern, yeah, but like a lot of modern Catholics, they don't understand their religion. Yeah, they, they think all oh, these things are not sins. Mm -hmm. uh, go down the weekend and being drunk. Well, Jesus doesn't care about that. Mm -hmm. Plus, when I kind of came back to the church six years ago, mm -hmm. I was given a really kind of greater awareness mm -hmm. that no, like a more kind of truer conversion. Mm -hmm. No, these are sins. This is our faith. This is what we believe. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm absolutely blessed. It ended up me just sitting down one day and mm -hmm. the first time maybe, uh, not wouldn't be 20, it'd been 17 years. Mm -hmm. I just prayed the rosary on my mm -hmm. fingers because mm -hmm. obviously I don't have a rosary. Mm -hmm. I, and thank God I haven't looked back since. Wow. Like, to me, that's 
that's a minor miracle in itself for me. Yeah. So. Wow, beautiful. And in general, now you can, you know, what is the beauty of our, our Catholic faith? What would you tell people why it's so beautiful, why you came back, why you have this peace now? Yeah, well, you know, after heavenly drinking, you said, you know, you see, you, you, I, I you change. I can see that in you. Well, what, what would I say to someone? Like, like it's, it's the church founded by Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 yeah. years ago. And believe it or not, it does have all the answers. It's just a matter of, ideally, if you get a good priest, but if there are the wonders of the internet, we can, you can find all these answers. Again, I, I'm, I'm no theology, and I, I, I never studied theology. Like I haven't never read Thomas Aquinas or something like that. But neither am I. Yeah. Even if you pick up something like the what's in English we call the Baltimore Catechism. Yeah. This we call the Old Petty Catechism. Mm -hmm. It's just simple question and answer format. It was designed for kids. Mm -hmm. like, no, that suits me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Just very, very simple, but has the so clear, concise answers. Like here in Medjugorje, you know, simple things. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. And what would you tell now people why maybe should they should come back to uh, come to Medjugorje? Yeah. Well, my my attitude was, mm -hmm. like I said, uh, like a, quite a lot of people that attend the Latin Mass. In, in Ireland, anyway, we kind of tend to have a very, very skeptical mm -hmm. attitude towards Medjugorje and the visionaries, mm -hmm. and so did I. But I said, and again, I don't mean to stress a point, but thanks to your videos and your beautiful testimonies of all the people you interviewed, mm -hmm. I said, listen, why not give it a go? Why not come here? Like mm -hmm. me, I said, in my own head, mm -hmm. I've come for the experience. I, I don't have to worry too much about visions visionaries of what they said or just come for the atmosphere and just the fact that you, you can you can walk along and stand in the streets and have a discussion about going to confession or do you want to say another decade of the rosary or whatever mm -hmm. uh, and like ideally like what you have here in Medjugorje like ideally this should be like every parish in the whole world mm -hmm. and I think this is what it will be like after the triumph of the Blessed Lady mm -hmm. like this will be norm across Germany, Ireland, everywhere. How would you describe it? What this 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 model for as a Catholic parish? What is so beautiful about this? Um, like you can feel it here with the people. Like yeah. the people are so polite. Like I know, I get impressed. My first time here, but I think naturally they're polite people anyhow. And like people, like I saw yesterday, Pan Sunday, like there was thousands of people here at both masses, mm -hmm. Croatian masses. Probably a thousand people at the English Mass. Mm -hmm. I presume the same for the German language Mass. Mm -hmm. And again, you meet like minded people, which is very difficult back home. Like back in Ireland, you have to kind of, uh, maybe this is not the right thing to say, but you kind of keep it under your hat because nobody wants to know. Like, mm -hmm. About religion? Yeah, like, no, it's, uh, especially in Ireland, it's got a very kind of negative attitude towards the church. and. Yeah abuses over the last 20, 30 years, whatever. So it's it's so refreshing to come here whereby this is this is the norm. This is the norm. You see joy in people, peace in people. Yeah. And they are real Catholics because sometimes the Latin mass goers say no, they are not real Catholics, the Medjugorje people, but they are, no? You, you found people who are real, no? Kind well, people, we, speaking for myself, like, I never doubt it. That's that's a real mess. Of mm -hmm. course it is, mm -hmm. but it's just um, how, how do I say? Do you know, there's a, there's a real kind of living faith here. There's a living faith. It really is, you know. Mm -hmm. Like going up Apparition Hill, yeah. across the mountain, you meet people going up smiling, meet people coming down there smiling, mm -hmm. and. Um, like, like already, I'm thinking about coming back here again in October. You think about it? Yeah, absolutely. Like you know, it's I have so much to gain by being here a week. Yeah, you gain so much. Yeah, yeah I really do. Mm -hmm. Like you know, it's. What did you gain? Can you describe it at the end for people what you could gain? Uh, well, well, again, I know it's a, it's a word overused a lot, mm -hmm. but the, the peace, I guess. The peace you get. The I see it in you. You are, you are, you are. The, the camaraderie with your own pilgrim group. Yeah. So in my case, I'm with 
16, 17 strangers and they're all lovely, lovely people. So like even that alone in itself, like mm -hmm. you've got real camaraderie, meet new friends. Mm -hmm. And like, like when you go to the church every morning, mm -hmm. every single person in the church wants to be there. They're not doing it, doing it because for parents' sake or because their parents forced them to be there or like me when I was a kid. Me too. Yeah. Um, it's not a bad school because as kids you learn like this but then yeah. you have to discover yourself at one point. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. But um, again, my attitude was, but you know they say, uh, come across in your videos as well, that it's Our Lady that she invites people here. Mm -hmm. And I feel, that as, that? I feel that as well, that my, my Our Lady is inviting me here. Mm -hmm. So in the space of four months, mm -hmm. whereby I, I'd have been a super skeptical of Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. In the space of like three months, okay, I, I'm booking this flight. And I asked her, Blessed Mother, listen, the funds are tight. And then I ended up getting a, like a tax rebate from the government for 500 euros. And I was like, oh yeah, okay, look, that's, that's thrown towards, yeah. Unbelievable. And can you tell me, you know, a lot of people think God is an angry old man with a white beard. He is not. What, how is God the Father? Can you describe him now a bit better after Metanoi? Mm. Do you know, mm -hmm. I, Tom, mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's really impacted me yet. Yet? Okay. And I have a feeling that uh -huh. when I come back to Ireland the next week, the week after, it really will. Now, I used to have that attitude that yeah. our God is a God that's easily displeased. Uh -huh. And even now, still, like this, how would I say, sometimes myself, I feel like I'm going through the motions. Mm -hmm. I say the prayers. I try to keep concentrate what's in the rosary. I go to Mass. I, I focus on the Mass. I focus on the priest the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, how do I meet the living God, as I say? And I, st and I still don't think I got there yet. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to talk to Father Leon, but like mm -hmm. everyone wants to talk to Father Leon. He's a very, very busy man. Mm -hmm. but, but maybe, like, I come away from here, and that's, that's what I like to ask Our Lady and Our Lord is, how do I deepen my... I have the faith, but it's just a matter of um, how can I be a happy Christian? Yeah. No, I, what I mean is, yeah, not, 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 but not that I'm unhappy, yeah. but more deep. You know, maybe like yourself, you meet people. They're very, very happy, happy Christians. Mm -hmm. And like, I want to be like those people. It will come, don't worry. Instead of uh, again, I'm not very good at explaining myself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you meet real, genuine Christians. You meet real, genuine Christians that are aren't kind of smiling all the time either but but real happiness you saw yeah it. yeah and again i think that's the phrase just to actually uh, meet the living god that's that's my objective you will i tell you because yeah. god wants you happy yeah. everybody of us yeah. wants yeah. happy faces as my yeah. spiritual guide said yeah he wants and no and sad faces yeah and, and again it's, it's not that i'm happy in myself no. but it's just the deepening Yes, live, live, live. deeper connections. Yes, right? correct. That's a deeper connection. You said it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think a deeper connection. That's what I want. Now, I, I don't want visions or interlocutions or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Like even I came to Medjugorje, like one one of the guys asked me, like, what, what what do you expect to get this weekend, Barry? And I, I'm going to listen. I just want to come here to experience this, to enjoy the week. I, I don't expect to see the uh, the, what, the sun spinning, spinning in the sky. Like, no, it's it, it's great if it happens. It didn't, mm -hmm. but that's, that's not what I came for. Doesn't it doesn't matter. But you got the peace. You found peace. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for this beautiful no worries, interview. Listen, actually, thank you. Actually. <laughs>